Lakia Bailey was three years old when she was diagnosed with sickle cell disease. I would wake up out of a deep sleep in excruciating pain needing to go to the hospital. She endured hundreds of surgical procedures and hospitalizations. It's called sickle cell because of the way the cells are shaped like a sickle. Your tissue isn't getting as much oxygen as it needs, which can lead to organ damage and it can cause death. Lakia excelled in school despite missing weeks of classes. My mother taught me that I would need to be three times better to be considered half as good. You know, I am a colossal nerd. I did eventually get my doctorate degree in molecular hematology and regenerative medicine. I wrote papers from hospital beds, won awards from a hospital bed. Today, she's personally struggling to find a bone marrow donor for a transplant the only known cure. She's also heading the Sickle Cell Consortium, a nonprofit she co-founded. Our main goal is to ensure that there is a space for sickle cell patients and caregivers to be at the center of research, legislation, advocacy, awareness, and policy. And she's a government advisor and works with drug companies on gene therapy. We are working very hard to make sure that future generations do not have to live with this disease.